We were the first magazine to put Sarah Palin on the cover last week because of the way the news cycle broke. We were able to shoot both uh, Senator McCain and Senator Palin at the announcement in Dayton. As the whole world knows, as the week went on, Palin became more and more of the story. And while we weren't planning on doing a second cover about her, we realized that when God gives you a gift, you shouldn't you shouldn't turn it back. Uh, so she's a fascinating character, has clearly energized the Republican base in ways that John McCain has never been able to do in his 25 years in, in Congress. Predictably, the Republicans were very good at turning the tables on the media last week, uh, accusing the Democrats and the press of alternately being sexist and uh, condescending toward Governor Palin and her family. Kathy Devaney, uh, who writes our Modern Family column and supervises our business and technology coverage, writes a very honest piece this week, admitting that given that she lives in the People's Republic of Brooklyn and has very little uh, political sympathy, I think it's safe to say, with, uh, with the Republican ticket, that she finds Palin an intriguing and in some ways attractive figure. Richard Nixon never used the phrase, but 37 years ago, he launched a great national crusade against cancer, known as the War on Cancer. As Sharon Begley reports this week, it's a war we've lost, and we are publishing this project in conjunction with a charity event called Stand Up for Cancer, in which all uh, three of the traditional networks have given an hour of time in order to raise money to establish a foundation that would grant money to those institutions and those scientists who are doing multidisciplinary research. Emmy Roundtable this year, a terrific cast. We have terrific actors from the shows that we all, I think, like the most these days. Uh, Weeds, Mad Men, Dexter, The Office, brothers and sisters, and terrific video offerings that'll be rolled out all week of the round table. It's, this is something we've been doing for a long time with the Oscars, for a good bit of time with the Emmys, and it's really as though you're sitting around in a diner with these actors, having them talk about their anxieties and their craft. I'm John Meacham, the editor of Newsweek.